so this is uh, an activity which Craftanoon um, organisers at Mind have suggested as one of their um, possible activities that you could do for Craftanoon. It's not a tricky one, so this is one that potentially anybody could do. You could get the children doing this. The only bit that might be a little bit tricky is when you do some cutting out, but generally speaking I think this could be quite a good family one to do and it might be quite a nice way to keep the kids occupied and give them something to do to make something for people for Christmas so it's basically a window card now the idea is that it's like a bauble but um, as you can see I've made a couple in the bauble style and for the tutorial that I'm going to go through now I'm going to actually do a slightly different shape but the process is exactly the same so for this you're going to need some card now you can buy these uh, card uh, blanks so they're just a piece of card pre-scored some of them come already folded and that will give you a card and the benefit of these is that they come with an envelope to match. Places like Poundland sell them and at the moment, I know the other day I noticed they had some that were the brown craft paper which looks quite good often with some of these kind of decorations um, and I think they were just a pack of ten obviously for a pound. If you don't have uh, pre-cut and pre-folded ones you can just take a piece of card and I would go for something reasonably thick and um, fold it yourself you might need to find a car, um, an envelope to match if that's the case to make the window you'll need some sort of plastic and the tutorial guide suggests you to use plastic food bags such as the ziploc type bags um, you can do that if that's the only plastic you've got available to you but obviously it would be really good if you can try and reutilize some good plastic that's otherwise destined for the bin so for my two that I've done here that I've already made I've got some plastic which was originally from the Poundland bauble packaging that I used to make my bauble wreath and, and that gives a really nice smooth finish but it is quite a bit more rigid I've also used this which is a thinner more flexible plastic packaging and that gives you a bit more room for stuff to move around but it is a little bit looser so it doesn't sit quite as flat and it doesn't give quite such a nice finish but it works really really well just just the same in terms of ease of making um, if you have some of these plastic um, folder wallets you can use the plastic from those too you might find you've got plastic that some of your post comes in sometimes magazines or some kind of publications come in a plastic sleeve and you might be able to reutilize some of those so for the one I'm going to do today I'm going to use the slightly thicker plastic that I got from my bauble packaging because I, th I think that works quite well for these uh, you'll need something to put inside your window so something like confetti or sort of craft shapes my children have got quite a lot of the sequin type stuff but a lot of their stuff at the moment is all eastery and i'm after making something more christmasy so i won't use that and what i've used for these is just some card that i already have and I've used a hole punch. I've got a single, but an ordinary standard double hole punch. And this is a craft punch that makes bigger holes. And I've used that to make my own filler. So the one I'm going to make now, I'm going to use all this really colourful stuff. And there's nothing to say you can't use newspaper, any paper that you've got around the house. You could literally just give your children a piece of paper and a pair of scissors and ask them to cut it into all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes if you've got other shaped craft punches often people have star shaped ones especially around Christmas time I think you can probably pick those up in some of the cheap craft shops or like Poundland 
so whole selection so I've got again rather than using stuff new I've got some card which I've got all these little tiny spaces that weren't used for a different craft project so I've just gone along and punched a whole series of bits to make a sort of confetti and that's all going to go inside now my first ones that I made I'm not really convinced that I put quite enough in I think when you hold the card flat let me show you what, I'm, what I mean when you hold your card flat and you shake your confetti around it's easy to see what's in there but this is likely to end up on someone's mantelpiece so if it's stood upright for any length of time everything will fall to the bottom so I think the more you have in here the more likelihood that um, it'll still be on show even when it's stood up so lots and lots of bits and pieces put inside whatever you would like I'm just going to do a whoops a purple I've actually done that upside down, but I do it so that I can try and get as close to the edge of the paper as I can. So I've got a whole mishmash. My card is double-sided, so it's the same colour both sides. Sometimes card is white on the back. But if you're doing something that's meant to look a bit snowy, that works fine. So you will need a pair of scissors or a craft knife or some way to cut out your shape from the centre. You'll need some sellotape or glue or maybe even something like glue dots. And in mine, when I've attached my window to the inside, I've covered the edges just to tidy up with some washi tape. You don't need to do that. You could just do it with some plain sellotape. Uh, I just like to neaten up and hide the bits and pieces where I attach the the two windows together so if you take your piece of card and I've worked on the inside to do mine you can do it on the outside but I drew my shape that I want to cut out so for the baubles I just used a mug and I drew round it for this one I've made a square and then I've created a crisscross across the centre of it. So I'm going to make this one, hopefully, look like a Christmas gift. And then I used a craft knife to cut out the shape. If you don't have access to a craft knife, you can easily use a scissors, just the same as you might any other time. Use a pen or a pencil to mark a hole in the centre of the area that you want to cut out. And then you can work your way out to the side. Be really careful with a craft knife. I cut myself yesterday. So once you've got your shape cut, you're ready to go. Now you can do this either way. You can decorate the outside before or after you've done your filling. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to start off by doing the decoration on the outside purely because I want to be able to do it and know that I'm not going to end up drawing over my plastic and I've got sharpie pens so if they're permanent obviously I won't be able to take it off so just to help the outside stand out a little I'm going to use my sharpie pen and I'm going to outline the edge of my shape. You could do this nice and neatly with a ruler if you're doing a square pattern like I am. If you're doing something like the round for the bauble you could just use the original shape and when you're marking your shape onto the card in the first place you could just use your marker pen to go round the object and then cut inside the line slightly and you're ready to cut. So on mine I've got this crisscross 
that will mark out where the effect of a ribbon is. So I'm going to colour that all in red too. When I did the bauble, as you'll see, I'll move this over here while I'm colouring it. I decorated the outside with some stars just to finish off the outside around the edges. And then I used a line straight up from the centre of the bauble to create a string to make it look like it was hanging. I'm using Sharpie markers, but you could use anything. If you've got paints, you could do this with paint. As I say, any reason I'm doing it before I fill the centre is because I've got a marker pen that will mark my plastic. So I might go around that a little bit more neatly afterwards with a, a ruler so that I can finish off the lines and get them nice and straight. And I might do some more decoration around the outside edge when I'm done. But that at least means the edges that are going to be next to the plastic are all tidied away. So for the filling, you want two squares of fabric, um, not fabric, two squares of plastic. And your plastic wants to be wider than your window. So if you've got a bauble, make sure that you come right out beyond the sides of the circle. And you want your two pieces to be pretty much the same size and you need to make it into a pocket. Now you might be lucky and if I can figure out where I put my piece. The piece that I use, the, the thin stuff that I use, because it was from a packet of stickers, this actually already has an edge on both sides. So for that I just needed to finish off the two opposite sides where it was open. But probably most of you are probably going to end up having to cut two pieces of plastic that are completely unfinished on each side. And what you need to do is make sure that if your piece of plastic isn't actually that much wider than the window shape that you're filling. You need to be sure that any tape or anything that you use isn't going to show through the window. So hence you see I'm just, when I sellotape mine down, I'm trying to stay reasonably close to the edge. And then I'm just going to strim my piece of sellotape down. I did really well, I might be able to save that piece. Uh, and so I've just got a really narrow strip of sellotape. Let me see if I can reuse this piece. Speed. There you go, half a strip of sellotape works really well. And I'm going to make sure I leave the fourth side open for the moment, because obviously I need to fill it. So once your pocket is all ready, with three sides sealed and one left open, you want to fill your pocket with whatever confetti you've decided you're going to use. So this one I'm going for something really bright and colourful. It's all sticking to the sellotape that's stuck on me. There we go. So I've been a lot more generous with this one. Hopefully this one will create a really good effect. So there's my my filled pocket. So I'm going to now seal the final side in the same way as I did before, still making sure 
and I don't have my tape or my fixing too far on show. Drill off some extra just so I can keep my tape. The only reason I have such a narrow gap is just because I was using obviously the packaging from my box, and the box this is as wide as the box was, so I couldn't make my piece any bigger. So give your little window a shake. Unfortunately, I think my, my big ones need to move around before they'll, they're all piled up in the middle. But a little pop around and they'll move. But basically, those should look like the confetti inside. So open up your card. Find the position that makes it fit the best without getting too close to either side of your cuts. And I'm using washi tape to stick mine down uh, just because it's a little bit more decorative and it will sort of cover up the sellotape. Same as before, you need to make sure that when you stick any tape around the outside edge of this, make sure your tape doesn't overlap into the plastic so far that you'll see it on the inside of your window when you're looking at it from the outside. You could at this stage just use sellotape or you could use um, glue dots, especially if you're doing a bauble shape because obviously when you're doing the bauble, the corners here won't be on show. So you could easily use a glue dot in each of those four corners. I'm literally just using the tape because it just finishes the inside off slightly. Washi tape's quite good because it's fairly easy to get hold of. I have a, a whole load of ones which I think came from uh, Aldi. They often sell packs of it around Christmas time, reasonably cheaply. Sometimes I think you buy, buy it in Poundland too. But it's not as sticky as sellotape sometimes. So just watch. Some of the brands are better than others. Okay. So, my window, I'm going to try and get it pretty central. And although this is the inside and it's not really the bit that people will see, I am still going to try and make it as neat as I can. Looks like Mr. Tumble's house. And there we go. So, I think the bauble probably looks better. I'm not quite as big a fan of the Christmas present idea, but what I shall do is I shall probably take a gold pen or something, if I can find where I've put it, and I will look at decorating the top to make it look like it has a bow or something on the top. You can go to town as much as you like if you're pretty creative. I'm sure you could cut something really beautiful. You could create a whole scene to go around your window. Something quite nice and simple works pretty well so that actually the bit that stands out is the, the decoration in the centre. But there you go. One window bubble card and one present card. Quite cool activity. The children would be able to do most of that by themselves. The only bit that you might need to give them help with is doing some cutting. If you're going to have small children doing it, they'll probably need help with that. But pretty much 
a lot of the the rest could be done and if you were to use plastic food bags you may even find that the uh, size of bags you use may allow for very little work needing to be done to sellotape the bag together once the filling is put in so let me see what you think <laughs>